Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing and ordering decimals. This is standard 4.2F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different students, Marisol, Benito, Otis, and Angie. And we've got distances of how far they jumped. And we need to find these distances here, greatest to least. And notice here that we've got Marisol and Angie are both going to the hundredths place. So you notice that what they're seeing here are these little grids that are 10 by 10. So these are 10 by 10, so 10 by 10 is 100. So we've got both Marisol and Angie are going to the hundredths place. But what we see for Benito and Otis are different. They are simply going to the tenths because uh, it's really just at 10 different columns. And so those are going to translate differently into what we see here. So let's see if we can kind of figure them out. And they all have at least one hole. So look at Marisol here, Benito. Otis and Angie, they all have one hole. And so really we're just going to be able to look at these as they're all one point something because they've got a hole and then they've got something left over. So let's look at Marisol here. Hers is going to be one point and let's check her hundredths right there. Let's check her column. She's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So she's got six full columns. So she's got 60 hundredths and then 61, 62, 63. All right. So one and 63 hundredths for Marisol. Benito is going to be a little bit easier. It's going to be one point and then just going to go to tenths. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, five tenths, 1.5 or one and five tenths. Otis is going to be one point. Let's grab our tenths here. One, two, three, four, one and four tenths. And then I've got Angie. It's going to be one point. She has hundredths as well. Let's count 10, 20, 30, 40. So I've got four in the tenth spot because it's 40 hundredths. And then I've got 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. All right. So there's, there's my numbers. I've got from 1 6300s down to 1 and 4600s. Now, how do we put these in order from greatest to least? Well, let's just go ahead and stack them all up underneath Marisol here. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to line them up with the decimals. It doesn't matter if they don't all go to the same spot initially. Where you always line them up is with the decimal point. So you notice how I line them up with the decimal first. And I'm going to, so I'm going to grab Benito. I'm going to put him right here. This is going to be 1.5. Otis is 1.4. And then Angie is 1.46. Now we can do something to make them all go to the same spot. But you notice that I've got my tenths right here. And I've got my hundredths kind of hanging out in space. Now to make it look a little bit better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a zero. You can always add a zero after the tenths spot to turn your five tenths into fifty hundredths and turn your four tenths into forty hundredths and look how much easier that is now because now all of these ones are the same so i don't really need any of those i'm just looking at this right here and i just need to find the greatest between 63 50 40 and 46. well that's pretty easy our 1.63 1 in 63 hundredths is going to be first 50 40 46 well that's going to be one and 50 hundredths, that's going to be next. And then a 46 is bigger, so 1 and 46 hundredths is going to be next. And then finally, our 1 point 40 hundredths is going to be last. Now remember, this 50 hundredths was really 5 tenths. So we're going to see it like this. And our 40 hundredths was really 4 tenths. So let's just look at it like this. And we've got... B and D look pretty good, but there it is, that D right there, our answer is D.